Well, hey, YouTube PD Two Finger with a quick recommend video. I this well, it seems like a Saturday. What is today? Monday. Monday. Uh, I'm. I can't stay awake. Sleeping uh, all all day. Watching some videos. Trying to catch up on some rest. And this video that was on my list of things to watch: Frank Zappa, Turgid Flux. Comments on American Television Culture, 1991, April 13th, 2020. 78,000 views. This is a video I'm highly recommending that you take time to watch. Frank Zappa is no uh, intellectual midget. He's a brilliant speaker. He's, uh, he's funny in his own way. If, if you're familiar with his sense of humor... Like, Zappa kind of cracks me up even when he's being serious. And now it's what's, what's really interesting is his kind of core philosophy seems to fall in line with the right wing. Like, it really does. I, and this is a statement that my ex-singer made. He, uh, when Trump was got in office, he his thing was... All of the people I grew up with, the pot smokers, the counterculture hippie, the people who rebelled against society, they're all, all of them are uh, gun-toting right wing. <laughs> they all voted for Trump. So uh, it's, is that ironic or funny that this, like my mom was this hyper Christian woman who was just damning all of the music that I listened to, throwing it in the river. I was listening to Zappa and, and Pink Floyd is what I was listening to. So, uh, yeah, it's it's funny to me. It's it's funny to me. Now, the, the other interesting thing that I will say is if you look at, uh, I can never remember his name, uh, Weird Scenes Inside the Canyon, he, this guy wrote about the possibility that the, uh, it's a theory that's going around in the uh, Tinfoil Hat Club, and that's that the Beatles didn't write any of their music, that uh, a lot of these bands that came and changed the face of America with this uh, teen uh free love, drugs, the whole hippie 70s me generation, new spirituality, where basically they got rid of the American family, okay? The, the mom and dad are supplanted by the state. And that this is them. This is ultimately people who are in league with the guy who conducts his business in the place where the torture never stops. The devil. These are the Illuminati, the uh, the three, 300 Club, the Bilderberg Group, etc., etc., etc. Tavistock Institute and the Canyon that the Canyon was actually a movie studio where they produced, it was a military base that was a movie studio for the military, where they pro supposedly developed all of the negatives from the atomic bomb tests, but really it was a state-of-the-art sound studio. And a lot of the rock stars were people whose parents were in the military. So like they, basically they planned this out, they groomed these people, they put these children in these positions uh, and made them, made them huge. The rock stars, Jim Morrison, Frank Zappa, being a cornerstone, cornerstone founding father, like he, he had the GTOs, he had Alice Cooper, he had Grand Funk Railroad, he had all these underlings. And as well as people like uh, all of the musicians who went on 
who came in under that umbrella of Frank Zappa, the Adrian Belews, Steve Vise, Warren Cucurullo, or uh, Punky, uh, what's his name, the drummer, Missing Persons, all, all of that stuff. Um, Bazio. Bazio. So it, it's... It's really weird to, to watch this interview from the 1990s and see Frank Zappa talking about the erosion of the nuclear family, uh, that it's not a good thing. And, and then to put that up against this context that he was aware he was put into this position of leadership, it doesn't jive. It doesn't jive with the weird scenes inside. Daniel, uh, oh, what was his name? His whole thing is brilliant. The book. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, not recommending it. If you don't know, David McGowan. Weird Scenes Inside the Canyon, Laurel Canyon, Culvert Ops, The Dark Heart of the Hippie Dream. Okay, so this is weaponized music. It's, uh, you know, Jim Morrison's father was the guy in the Gulf of Tonkin. He was the guy who lied to start the Vietnam War. So it's, it's a... Uh, Definitely, if you're not familiar with David McGowan's book, there's all kinds of... He, he's not with us anymore. He passed away. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal with that was, if they if they took him out. I don't really know. If anyone knows more about David McGowan and how he died, was that fishy? Was it because he's talking about things that we're not ready to know yet? I, th I do think... It's it's very telling how we have the um, oh what's his name the guy the Billy Shears memoirs books that are coming out that are completely in line with everything that I'm talking about where all of this was manufactured it was all manufactured the Beatles didn't write any of their songs Paul McCartney was replaced a number of times that's this. Uh, another series of books, The Memoirs of Billy Shears. So I think that as time as time passes, this type of thing is going to become... People love this type of stuff, okay? Whether it's true or not is a whole nother uh, different topic. And I, what I'm saying is you're going to see more of that. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying it's that sells. That's... You know, so uh, look for more of that. Me as a person who looks at the world, and, and it's very easy for me to see, we are not being told the truth. That they do lie. They lie all the time. That's, that's all that they do. That we are paying them to tell us stories. And, 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 that that sucks, but it's kind of our fault at the same time. So as as a person with th th those values installed in me, that I don't believe in anything that I'm told, nothing. I, I believe whatever you're being told, it's there's a reason you're being told that, and that's because there's something else that they're covering up. Uh, as that type of person... Of course, you know how the chips are going to fly for, for me, how I look at it. But at the same time, I certainly don't know the truth, and I don't entertain myself <coughs> to buy into any of the alternative uh, philosophies and theories because it's, it's just it's not true. It's, not, it's, it's, it's made up. It's made up stuff, so... This 1991 interview uh, with Frank Zappa talking about the erosion of the American family, how that, uh, that, I mean, he's, he's, he's speaking from the, uh, uh, 
he's not speaking from the perspective of a rock star. He's speaking from the perspective of a father in this video. And, and people do change. So there's all kinds of different possibilities when I look at it. I will just say it's ironic and it really doesn't fit in with what David McGowan's book is trying to sell you. That's not to say that I'm not recommending David McGowan's book. If you haven't checked that out, you should definitely check it out. There's all kinds of YouTube videos with this guy. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go and get the book, although you can get it in PDF form uh, for free. You can get that book and read it, which I did, and it's worth it's worth your time. If you if you love uh, rock and roll stories, it's it's a good one. It's a theory, in essence, but it's it's hard to dispute the way that he presents it. Anyway, enjoy that uh, Frank Zappa. Turgid Flux, Comments on American Television Culture, 1991. And that was released April 13th, 2020. Uh, and it's Jeff Steven is the name of the YouTube channel. So I will put the link in the description. I'll put something up for uh, David McGowan as well. This is interesting stuff, like I said. Uh, I'm not here to tell you what the truth is. I'm here to tell you I feel that we don't know the truth. That our history is not what we've been told. And uh, I don't think that we'll ever know the truth. That's, that's my take on it. I think as time goes, uh, you're going to get more and more uh, alternative history or different things to to cloud the water. I don't think the truth is ever going to be readily available. And that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh well. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.